So the Prix de Cadran next and this is the French Gold Cup, two and a half miles, and the top one is Bluegrass Cat. Obi Wan, Cotchum Bamba Dead, Jared Tut, Duracell, Joshua Sutherland, Keys, Stu Gray, Mr. Shiver, Molly at Surfer, Stark Brown, David Rotson, World as Will, Leon Van Rensburg, Brain Freeze, Paul Rhodes, Koyak, Ghost Zapper, Hanger Cozy, Darren Thompson, Lock Im, Derek Hinton, and Wishing on a Star Ground Clutterbook. They're all in then. I'll race this one, two and a half miles, same distance as the Ascot Gold Cup, of course. And away they go. And Koyak, the winner of the race at Ascot, is in the field and obviously the red-hot favourite. Brain Freeze is also pretty well fancied. But it's Bluegrass Cat that takes them along from Brain Freeze in second. Start Brown, that's another one that's won some good races as well. So too has uh, Wishing on a Star. I think Hanger Cozy ran a good race the other week as well. Anyway, Bluegrass Cat has gone... Four lengths clear pretty quickly and looks like going to set some pace to the race with Keys in second. Hanger Cozy is just about third, then Cochabamba Dead is after that one, and then Wishing on a Star and Brain Free, Start Brown, and towards the back, Locking Duracell, World as Will, Mr. Schiller, and finally Koyak is just the back marker. So, Bluegrass Cap the leader. And Cochumbamba did and Keys. Stark Brown and Brain Freeze. And Hanger Cozy and Lock him. With Wishing on a Star and Duracell got the inside rail. Well, that could be Brain Freeze, to be honest. That's Brain Freeze, I think, on the inside. And Duracell is the one on the outside. I do hope next season we can persuade Paul Rose and Joshua Sutherland to change their colours so they don't look the same in every race because <laughs> they're quite often in contention in the big races and the horses are normally pretty close together. So Bluegrass Cat's the leader then and I've oh, moaned all week haven't I about all sorts of stuff but Keys is in second then Koch and Bamba Dead is third, Start Brown fourth and I'm not picking on those two because there are other people who've got some um, colour clashes as well including two international superstar trainers who are about to take the world by storm, Stu Gray and me, who have both got the purple colours, so I'm sure all of this will change next season. Anyway, Bluegrass Cat leads as they come past the winning post for the first time, and they're going to go around all the way around again, and she don't do all that very often in flat races, but there is one more circuit to go, and Stark Brown is in second, Koch and Bamba Dead is third, and Keys, World as Will's up there as well, they're pretty tightly packed, and Koyak is just sitting quietly towards the back with Hanger Cozy, just tucked on that one's inside. Nothing really made a move yet, Bluegrass Cat just happy to be out in front, taking them along. Duracell is still running the widest. I'm not sure Josh will be overly pleased about that one being right on the wide outside. But to be fair, Koyak is now coming around the outside as well. So maybe the ground's better, but they are giving a bit of ground away. As you can see, when they come around this turn, instead of being second and third, they're going to be more like fourth and fifth. So it's Bluegrass Cat that's still the leader. Brain Freeze is the one that's now nearest to us in the red and black. And the one furthest away is Duracell. Lock him in the dark blue. Koyak with the yellow cap and the light blue. And the one with the yellow cap and the light blue with the purple hoops is Starp Brown. Wishing on a star, the red one with the blue sleeves as they race into the final six, five, five, uh, five and a half furlongs. And it's Brain Freeze who's come to challenge Bluegrass Cat. Starp Brown is third. Lock him is after that one. Then comes Wishing on a star and Duracell. Keys is next. Koyak has not really got going yet today, but I think, if I remember rightly, he did something similar to this at uh, one of his other races where he took a while to get going, but it's Brain Freeze in the lead. Four furlongs to race. Brain Freeze is the leader. From Wishing on a Star second, Duracell, and here comes Koyak round the outside. Then comes Stark Brown and World as Will. There's one dropping away a little bit. That's Mr. Shiver, but Brain Freeze has got the rail and got the lead. The centre of the track is Koyak. Duracell's going with that one. The big three probably going clear. World as Will, Wishing on a Star, and Stark Brown after them. But Brain Freeze has got first run. Koyak is up the centre of the track. Duracell's chasing on. Then World as Will, but it's still Brain Freeze at the moment. They're inside the final furlong and a half now. And Brain Freeze is up by about a length and a half to in second 
place. Koyak, Koyak's beginning to close. Brain freezes in front. Koyak now swoops on the outside. And Koyak takes it up inside the final furlong. And Koyak is going to stamp down his credentials to be the champion stayer on the flat this season. Koyak races up towards the line. Takes the pre de Cadran in a mixed fortunes week four. Ghost Zapper John Morgan. Koyak takes the pre de Cadran pretty comfortably from Wilders Will in second, Brain Freeze was third, Juracell was fourth and Cochum Bamba dead was fifth.